Hey cousin, let me show you how I made this delicious spinach cream chicken pasta. All of the ingredients will be listed in the caption or bottom bar. I'm gonna start off by boiling my penne pasta. You can use any pasta you'd like. I'm going to boil this for 12 minutes with one tablespoon of salt and a teaspoon of oil, and then I'm going to drain it and set it aside. For my chicken, I'm using two chicken breasts that I sliced up, and I seasoned with this Blackstone chicken and herb seasoning, two tablespoons front and back. And just in case you don't have this seasoning in your pantry i got you i listed a seasoning substitute along with the ingredients check that out i'm going to place my seasoned chicken breast into my hot pan along with two tablespoons of butter and these are gonna cook for seven minutes per side on a high flame remember that seven minutes per side on a high flame once my chicken is done, I'm going to pull it from the pot and I'm going to lower the flame to medium high. Then I'm going to add two more tablespoons of butter to the pot. This has a ton of flavor in it. And I'm going to add a tablespoon of minced garlic, half of a yellow onion that I diced, and I'm going to mix this together. I apologize for all of the spinning. The original video was for a reel that I posted many months ago on my Instagram page. Once my onions have softened, I'm going to add one tablespoon of paprika and mix this together. This is going to give our spinach cream chicken pasta a beautiful color. Again, this has all been going on medium high heat and I'm going to add one cup of heavy cream and I'm going to mix this up so the heavy cream can take on all of those flavors and color. Then I'm going to add in my sliced chicken mix this together and i'm also going to add in one cup of grated parmesan cheese then i'm going to add in a handful of fresh spinach and i'm also going to add in the pasta whoops my phone fell <laughs> there goes the pasta once my pasta is in i'm going to lower the flame to medium combine all of these ingredients and then i'm going to let it sit in the stove for five minutes so this can heat through and these flavors can marry once those five minutes are up, your pasta is ready to serve. Add some extra cheese right over the top, whether it's Parmesan or some mozzarella, whatever you'd like, cousin. This is an easy weeknight meal that's quick to prepare and it's family approved. If you enjoyed this recipe, give it a like. Thank you for watching.